everyone, I'm Kelsey, the market gardener here at Colonial. And I'm Jillian, I'm the livestock coordinator here at Colonial. And this is Turnip, he's a Japanese bantam and he will be our assistant today. Welcome to week one of your learning garden. We're super excited to grow with you guys and see what we can produce and eat this summer. So you guys got a whole kit of stuff for everything that you need to, use your, to do your learning garden. So you got a plant right bag. This is where you'll plant your seeds in. Stapled inside, you've got three seed packets and some fertilizer. And then we also gave you all the soil that you'll need to plant into your garden. Okay, the first step is going to be dumping your bag of soil into your plant right package. You might need some scissors to get this bag open. So go ahead and grab an adult and we'll get it cut open. And then there should be just enough soil that you can dump the whole bag in here. All right, so the next step is we're gonna take this packet of fertilizer and we are going to mix it in with your soil. So this includes fertilizer and beneficial microbes like mycorrhiza. So you can sprinkle this whole packet in here and then go ahead and use a spoon or your hands, whatever. It's safe to touch and go ahead and mix it all up in your soil. Now that we've got our fertilizer all mixed in, let's turn our fun meters to max. Yeah. And learn a fun fact about soil micronutrients. So Jillian, did you know that one teaspoon of soil contains over 7 billion microorganisms? What? That's crazy. Did you know that the microbes that live in the soil are really similar to the ones that live in our bodies? And that's why it's important to make sure that your soil and your food is grown in soil that has lots and lots of microbes in it. And before we get started, let's go ahead and roll down the sides of our plant right package so that we can better see what we're doing and so that our seeds and little plants get all of the light that they need. Then as your plants get bigger throughout the season, we can roll the sides back up as we need to. Mm -hmm. All right, so now that we've got the bag rolled down, we are ready to start planting seeds. So you got three different kinds of seeds in your packet. You got a gourmet blend of lettuce, you got some Easter egg radishes, and some calendula orange. All right, so since we've got three different kinds of plants that we're gonna have, we're going to actually split your plant right package into thirds. So you're just gonna take your finger and you're gonna use it to draw lines to split it into three equal pieces, just like a pie. We're gonna start with our calendula here and tear open your packet. And these are what the seeds look like. They're kind of big and funny shaped. So what we're gonna do is just kind of make shallow holes in the soil and sprinkle in the seeds. You can do one seed per hole. You can get a couple in there on accident, that's okay. If you wanna save some and put them out in your yard, these are gonna be big, pretty orange flowers that are good attractants for pollinators and you can also eat them. So once you've planted as many of the calendula seeds as you'd like, just lightly dust some soil on top or if you want, you can wait until you go to water and that will knock some of the soil on top for you. A lot of plant seeds like to have sunlight to germinate. So we don't wanna bury them very deep. So once you're done planting all your seeds, in order to label it so you know what you planted there, you're just going to roll it up and fold it over so that you can see the name. And then you can use a popsicle stick or a toothpick to stick right in the soil so that you know exactly what was planted in that spot. So the next thing we're gonna plant is our Easter egg radish. 
And these also don't need to be planted very deep. This is what the radish seeds look like. So go ahead and do the same thing. Maybe stick your finger up to that first knuckle and make several little holes and drop one to two seeds in each of the holes. And then these we can go ahead and cover back up with soil. And I always like to give it a good pat to make sure that your seed has good soil contact. And again, we'll fold up our packet and pop it in there as a label. Okay, so our last thing we're gonna plant is our gourmet blend of lettuce. So for this one, because the seeds are really small, you're gonna make little lines with your finger, just like that. You're gonna tear your packet open. And this is what the seeds look like. They're really small and flaky, so they'll blow away in the wind if you're not careful. And you're just gonna sprinkle them into your little rows that you made. And don't worry about planting these thick. They will still pop up and make room for each other. And then you're just going to lightly cover them with soil. All right, so your next step is you're gonna take your plant right package and you're gonna put it in a sunny place, preferably some place that gets lots of morning sun. If you have it somewhere with afternoon sun, it could get a little too hot. So you'll just have to make sure and water it a few more times a day to keep it cool. Once you have your package where you want it, you can go ahead and water. and you want to water it all the way in until it's evenly moist and you see water coming out the bottom. Okay, so your homework for next week is going to be making sure your package is watered and evenly moist all the time. You don't wanna see it dry out before your seeds germinate. So I would come and give it a little poke somewhere over on the side, make sure it's moist. You might want to water it one to two times a day and keep an eye out for your radishes and your lettuce. You should see those popping up by the time we meet next Thursday. Thank you for joining us this week. We will see you next Thursday where we will see what has come up in our garden. If you want to follow us on our Colonial Kids Club page on Facebook, you can follow along with how other people's gardens are going and ask any questions you might have. And if you want to see what else we're working at here on the farm, you can follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Colonial Gardens so you can keep up with how Turnip and his siblings are doing. See you guys. Thank see you. Ya.